Today is uh, Saturday, March the 15th, I believe. Um, I didn't, I just lose track of time, so that's my bad on that. <laughs> Everyone's all worried about this coronavirus crap, and I was having a little bit of cabin fever, and I just couldn't take it anymore. I'm tired of it being on the TV 24-7, so I'm out here just running around. I hadn't actually gotten out in the field for a couple weeks. I had a good backlog. And uh, But anyway, we had a lot of heavy rain last night. I'm in Garfield County today. There's an old ranch house over here in these woods. Um, I've been keeping an eye on it for probably about a year. And everything just keeps deteriorating. The fence actually extends way back over this way. And it's all down. Um, the grass is overgrown. All the fencing's down. So it's obviously not in operation anymore. I'm going to make my way across this creek bed here that creek over there is just it's close to bursting so we had a bunch of rain last night some people lost power some people got hail and uh at any rate i'm going to stop it now and i'm gonna cross probably right here like i said if i don't i don't know sink up to my knees in mud or what have you and then we'll figure out if there's anything back there worth looking at so we'll pick it up after i get on the other side and get a little closer We're just a little closer now. This is the property here. This is just a thoroughfare that runs alongside this creek. You can probably hear the road noise. There's a pretty busy traveled road right there. I mean, look, this fence is in bad shape. I got kind of a late start actually. I wanted to get out here way, way early. But uh, the rain just now started slacking off. This is actually, even though the water level's high, there's like rapids down there. So this part here is actually kind of calm. I don't even think the land over here is used. So we'll figure this out. There's a couple other places here around Garfield County I'm gonna check out. Don't plan on traveling real, real far today. <clears throat> anyway, I just wanted you guys to kind of get a little bit of an idea of what we're looking at. You can probably barely see the house back in there. Now what I've been able to see before these trees started budding out is that the roof is all, the shingles are gone. And this whole thing could be a bust. That fence is completely down on the ground. I didn't think I was going to be able to film my approach, to be honest. It looks like I will be able to.
Looks like it's been empty a long time. A lot longer than a year. Looks like there's a gap right here. This is all electrical. It's not live. Heck, I thought this place was still in operation, but it obviously is not. I grew up in this area. I didn't even know this was here. I thought this would be the house, but it kind of looks like it's the barn. The sign up by the road says Blaze Ranch, I believe. I bet this was the well house. I guess there isn't a house over here. Man, that's kind of disappointing. I really thought there would be. Honestly, as a kid, I can't even think about how many times I walked past this place and didn't even come back here. There's a pathway right here. I don't know if that's from cattle. I have a bottle of this stuff at home. This looks like a hodgepodge storage of stuff for a long time. That's a pretty nice collapsible table there. I've seen those used in churches. Now look at all these folded chairs. Let me get my flashlight out. These older gas cans are usually very popular still. Look at this one here. This is one of the military style that goes on the back of a Jeep. Oh man, that's still in pretty good shape too. Huh. It's kind of crazy. Look like bits and reins for a horse and other large livestock. Kind of looks like a yoke over there for a cow. 
There's another one. I'm sure if I'm wrong, somebody will correct me, which is awesome. That's fine. Look at those tiki torches. That's why they had the oil. That's a lot of tiki torches, man. They must have had parties back here or something. They just used it for storage, it looks like. If that was the well house back there, maybe this was, I don't know. I'll go check it out. Or that could have just been storage there on the back side. I thought there was a house back here. I'm very, very disappointed. I know I said that already, but I am very disappointed. I came in the direction I came in. Well, firstly, I didn't think I'd be able to. And I was kind of just as surprised as you. There is a road that comes in here, but it's gated off and there's chains across. So I didn't think I'd be able to get in any other way. There's an old plow there. I was trying to figure out what this was though. Like a makeshift raft or something. It's kind of what it looks like. Oh, looky here. Here's the old uh, water pump. Looks like there's a maybe a foundation right here. There's an electrical box right there. I'm just going to walk over here and see if there's still power onto the property. Boy, in the summer, you wouldn't even know somebody was back here. And this field here isn't even, isn't even used. Ah, there's still a power box. Huh. That one there's missing, though. Alright, well, let's see if the uh, well is still powered. No, no water pressure. Here's a little foundation right here. So there's all kinds of little buildings and stuff out here. This is pretty. That's really pretty. I'm sure somebody's wife painted that a long time. Planted that, sorry. Planted that a long time ago. So for those of you that kind of live in smaller towns that are growing and have been around for a while, you'll probably notice that there were farmsteads on the exterior that were once considered far outside city limits and now they're swallowed up by progress. And right over there is progress. And I'm sure at one point this was considered the country. There's some stuff back here though that I'm kind of surprised that it's still here. Scrappers and such haven't gotten hold of it. I mean, some of these tire tracks don't even really look that old.
Okay, this was the warehouse. I'm curious if there's still power on to this. No. And for those of you that are not familiar with it, this right here is where they usually keep the batteries for the electrical shock fence for the cows. Everything's missing. Usually they're rechargeable batteries, but the electrical charge comes out. And here's it right here. When I was younger, I was exploring some land with some friends and uh, <laughs> had a nice little first-hand encounter with one of those little electrical wires. I crawled under the fence, thought I had cleared it, and uh, unbeknownst to me, until I woke up on the other side, uh, the, uh, the electrical line touched the edge of my glasses, sent the jolt through my, my, my glass frames. Everything went white, and uh, <laughs> I was kind of out for, oh, I don't know, a fraction of a second. Come to on the other side, where I was trying to go, and of course everybody was laughing. So, it was, a, <laughs> it was an interesting day. Well... Hopefully I didn't yammer too much. As you can see, there's a neighborhood back there. I know this neighborhood extends over here. So right now we are in a section that is unclaimed, that is unexplored, that is more or less forgotten and left to rot. And it's kind of weird how our civilization with these towns and cities, we have sections like that. I just progress moves around them and forgets about them so i was really like i said hoping there was a house back here but it looks like all there was is this it obviously is a barn so i do have some farmhouses i'm gonna go check out today so hopefully you guys are enjoying your saturday and uh i hope you're well so god bless and let's move on to the next So I'm leaving this location back here, and this is the chain I was telling you about. And this is the entrance. They've got their own private little bridge. And this is the creek that I was worried about. And I'm sure you can hear the traffic. You can see some rapids over there. And this is the uh, what I've been watching for over a year. I've watched this sign slowly fall apart. And now I'm going to walk my way back to the car along this road here. You guys have a good Saturday. On to the next. <laughs>